for such tiny creatures. These have one of the biggest jobs in the world. Hi, I'm Katharina. And I'm Frederik. And we're using machine learning to better understand how nature works. And we're doing that by observing bees. Bees have a symbiotic relationship with nature. Plants depend on the pollination of bees, including the fruits and vegetables we eat every day. Bees and other insects are dying around the world and we do not know why. We don't want a lack of knowledge to be the reason bees continue to disappear. I thought we have to do something about it. So we built a hive monitor that uses a camera to track the bees as they come and go. Bees always return to their queen. If we observe 500 leaving the hive and only 200 returning, we can assume that there is a problem in the local ecosystem. We trained a model using TensorFlow, Google's open source machine learning framework that examines the video from each hive. But what do we do with all this data we collect? We share it with experts so they can make more informed decisions on things like when to mow lawns and where to plant trees and flowers. So bees can continue to power our ecosystem. This tech is only the first step. Us humans will have to take it from there.